a lot of people, you know, are, are familiar with the 50 Cent story about him being shot nine times. Uh, so can you tell me about how you, you and 50 Cent met each other? I met 50 through the same person I told you just gave him my name, J.U. I met him through Ja. Me and Ja used to go to Redirection together. And um, after, um, after a while, you know, me and Ja both was locked up. I bumped back into Ja in jail. When I came off from jail, me and Ja got back together. We saw each other again, exchanged numbers, and we started messing with each other, like hanging out with each other. I go hang on his block, you know what I'm saying? He'd come to my hood. And then he told me he was locked up. He met some kid that was rapping. And he wanted me to start with him, like go to the studio, like when they have, when 50 had a studio session, he'd be like, yo, come to the studio. I go to the studio and I met him like that. Going to the studio with Ja. Okay, so Ja and, and 50 were like, they were they met in jail and they were really good they became really good friends yeah they really good friends okay so at one point i believe you mentioned that the job passed away yeah job passed away job had um passed away he got killed god rest in peace job you know what i'm saying he got he got killed in the hood and i was on my way down there actually the day he got killed to see him this is the dude who gave you your name. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty significant. You guys must have been pretty close. You know, how how did that affect you when you found out? Uh, that shit fucked me up when I got down there. Like, I, I couldn't. That shit was, like, crazy. Ja, ja was a good dude. That shit just fucked my head up. Ja is the dude who introduces you to 50. You know what I'm saying? And... You know, what was 50 like back then when you first met him? Was he like, you know what I'm saying, still wild, dude? Or was he like trying to calm down and, you know what I'm saying, kind of go straight at the time? I don't, I don't know what wild. I don't remember no wild. I don't know. I don't know what wild. I don't know what you mean by wild. I don't know no wild. Okay. Well, you know, one of his most uh, famous issues was with Ja Rule. And him, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, well documented. You know, I think everybody's kind of talked about it. You know, do you know, actually know what the origins of their, you know what I'm saying, or how their beef actually started or anything? No. Uh, I, I believe they beef started over something that really didn't even have nothing to do with 50. Like, that's what. Okay, there's, there's two sides of the story. You know, uh. 50 says it happened because he was friends with the guy who snatched Ja Rule's chain. Exactly. And Ja Rule says that 50 Cent just took that opportunity as a way to kind of like, you know what I'm saying, get his career started. Nah, I, it's the first one you said, the chain part. Okay. Were you around when Ja Rule and 50 Cent were cool? I don't, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't recall all that. You, I don't, I don't recall all that. Okay. And uh, 50 Cent just as Ja Rule on your life's on the line. You know, what was all that like during that time when, you know what I'm saying, they're kind of like dissing each other? I believe there's some interviews where Ja Rule's even kind of taking some shots at 50. 50's kind of taking some shots at Ja Rule. Uh, you asked me, did this happen or... No, I'm just asking you what, what it was like during that time. What was it like during that time? Like, it was regular to, like, I don't want, like, it wasn't nothing different than me. It was regular. Everything was regular. I'm Were you there when 50 and Jaw fought? I wasn't there. But if you talking about when he punched him and gave him a black eye, that was in Atlanta. I wasn't there. Okay. So, eventually, you do get locked up. Can you talk about that a little bit more? Now, when I got locked up this time, um, it was this time it was for uh, drugs and a gun. The first time it was for robbery and drugs. This time it was for drugs and a gun. So I, I went upstate, and um, I, I came. I, I came home, and I was. I just kept kept catching violations. I kept catching violations. 
So I was back and forth. What was Rikers Island like during that time? Rikers Island, Rikers Island was, that sh shit was the worst. Rikers Island was, I don't know, Rikers Island probably like how it was, how it is now, but now it's probably worse now, but Rikers Island was crazy then. Okay, was there like a lot of, you know, gangs or, you know what I'm saying, in the jails and everything at the time? I'm not sure about what year, what year this is, but. Nah, it wasn't too many gangs. <laughs> The the only gangs, I guess, uh, was the uh, the Lion Kings, the Yetas, and then I think ninety six to ninety five was when the Bloods came and the blood started forming. So I went up state ninety two. There wasn't no gangs when I first went there because I was young. It was either your Muslim guard body or you got to fend for your own. That's the only gangs, but. That's it. Okay. So now you mentioned um, getting a lot of violations. Yeah, I kept getting violated on parole. Like curfew, smoking weed, like dumb shit. You got violated just for smoking weed? I remember back in the 90s, they used to violate you for everything. Now I don't think they do so much. Well, nah, not, I don't know. I ain't even trying to find out now what the fuck they violated people for. <laughs> But back then, yeah, they, they violated me for smoking weed, curfew, all type of dumb shit, not going to a program, all type of dumb, not having, uh, they had all type of dumb shit. Did you ever have any problems in jail or anything like that? Any fights or anything like that you could talk about? Mm, did I have a fight? Nah, I ain't had too many fights. Nah. I know too many people. I ain't had too many. Like, so it's like I'm fighting my friends. I know too many people. You mentioned uh, going upstate. Uh, which, which prison were you at when you went upstate? I went to, uh, I was in Marcy. But, uh, I was upstate, uh, like, what time are you talking about? Uh, your first time. My first time, I went to Livingston. Okay, is that and and the other times? No, but I went. Is it, I, you're not from New York, so like when they when you you and then you haven't been to jail before. So when you go to when you when you go to jail, they move you around. You just stay in one jail. You know, you could be here one day, one a couple months or a year. Then they're gonna move you around. So you know, it's, you don't just go to one jail when you're locked up. You get moved around. So I got moved around a couple of jails. All right, and so you're being moved around, uh, you know, to different jails, and you know, eventually you get out again. Yeah. Did you ever catch any serious charges or anything like that, or beat anything serious? In jail? In jail or in the streets? In the streets. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't never did none of that. Okay. How'd you get the name Ju? My man, God bless the dead, Ja, gave me that name. He said, uh, I ain't gonna call you June, I'm gonna call you J.U. My name is June, so instead of June, he called me J.U. And I just, I just rolled with that. 